this nigga grove on his feelings and everything man where is he bro we gotta go get rodolfo and stuff which i do believe are playing up here what's good rodolfo welcome back guys we gotta go to the casino and we gotta go win some money my nigga if there's ice cream it's fine with me gang there's not gonna be no damn ice cream oh wait what the hell bro you all right Yo, i feel that bro hey grove on are you okay I feel it, bro. I've never seen this nigga like this before. Look, Grovo. I've known Derek since we were just kids. I know the way he treated you during the beginning of your adventure wasn't right. However, you must have realized that he had that he actually has a good heart. He seems like a cold boy and says very arrogant things on his part. But nothing could be further from the truth. Something that built over time due to the circumstances that he's growing up in. The truth is. I don't know what happened between you two, but I'm sure whatever he did, it wasn't out of malice. He about to tell us to shut up, bro, I swear. And I also know that Derek is very proud of you and would give his life for you if he needed to. Oh man, he in his feelings. <laughs> he often says things in a certain way so you don't worry about him. It's really hard for him to get his true feelings out, but I'm sure he'll show them to you someday. Wait, Grovile actually believed him when he said that shit? That's crazy. It's time to take action, Grovile. Crying won't do us any good. <laughs> we'll rescue Derek no matter what. And we'll travel with him again. Grovile is up there. What? You want to stay here and train? Okay, okay. He gonna train. Hey, Gramps. Grovile's staying here. I'll tell you everything on the way. Let's go to the casino. Oh yeah, he about to turn into something, bro. Ooh, Derek is gonna get saved, my nigga. No cap. Seems like I'm a little late with the jokes today. If I remember correctly, I made plans to meet Lilivia at the casino. Let's go! We get to go to the um, casino. Hold on, this nigga is full health. Yep. And just do a little bit of this right here. Never mind. They've still reached the max level. But anyways, we gotta go to the damn casino. Is the casino Gold the Blanco? No, it's the bank, bitch. Hold on. I don't need to deposit no damn money. I barely even got money. I should rob y'all asses. Look at this drunk cop on the fucking, like, on the job, man. That's disgusting. That's despicable. That is stupid. I'm glad this shit don't got. What is this? Wait, the company that breaks the fourth wall. Hold on. What? What company is this? What's good, guys? Welcome. What the hell? I'm not. Uh, I'm not seeing anybody breaking the fourth wall right now. I'm not being mind blowing. It seems only 2.4 percent um think the game is slow. It's going to be an increase in cutscenes on my own project. Wait, what? Okay, so these are just gamers making their own game. Alright, I'm out of here. Oh, okay. So the casino is probably down here, in Lugano City, South Side, South Side, South Side. I don't know if that sounded like one of them goddamn. Oh, look, it's TV Akebi. I wonder if they put me on the goddamn news for saving the art gallery. Yo, let's go with the both of y'all. If we ever stop working for the royal family, I'd love to, you know, start something together. Start something together? Oh, you mean start a business? I've always wanted to have my own bakery. Do you like the idea? What kind of mother raised you? Damn. She really want him, bro. That's crazy. Aw, that's so cute, bro. Beautiful love, man. Beautiful love. What is this? Is this the... No, this is a restaurant. Restaurant de la Mood. <clears throat> Go to the Banco. Oh, the casino's probably over here. Unless this is another route. Oh, no, this is the center city. Hey. Hey. Ooh. We got the cockatiel right here in this bitch. Oh my mirror. Oh, uh, can't rap for my life. I almost riding that shit with something called cashmere. Oh shit, this the casino. I'm about to get lit in the casino. Jariah, is that you? Yo, what's up? <laughs> finally, bro, I finally met y'all, man. It's been a hot minute, bro. Hey, it's the mighty Jariah. You're lucky that you got to see me. You're lucky that you get to see me again, don't you think? Bro, after everything that we heard, bro, I'm not gonna lie. In that fucking orphanage, bro, I, uh, sorry, but who's this person? Oh, of course. Hey, man, you don't know me, but my name is Jariah. Nice to meet you, sir. They're one of our, fr they're one of our friends. They went on a journey with Derek and me. 
Right, Derek told me about him. My name is Edward. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Jirai will be very useful in facing the royal family. They're really strong. He's the strongest trainer in the world after me. How many badges have you earned so far? Five. I'm gonna kick your butt. <laughs> you can't even get to Victory Road. Okay, shut up, nigga. <laughs> Stupid dickhead, bro. <laughs> anyway, were you going into the casino? We were just on our way in there. You're gonna meet with Lilivia and the others? Okay, cool. Easies. Yo. Damn, this guy looks like he's from the royal family. You're Edward. What the heck are you doing here? I didn't expect them to be on guard here. Hey, let us through. Oh shit, and those kids. You're all here. Get ready to bash his head in. Welcome to the casino, kids. Oh shit. Certainly some of us here work for the royal family, but we're casino guards at night. Okay. In other words, we don't care if you're here. We won't call the royal family. When our work hours end, we don't have we don't have to obey our superiors. Enjoy your stay. Well, that saves us some trouble. Thanks, guards. Sorry for the trouble. Hmm. But kids can't enter. It's strictly prohibited. Rodolfo, a kid? I don't know how I'd define him that way. He's anything but a kid. The boy and his ditto aren't afraid of anything. Hey, I'm not a kid, dickhead. I'm a full grown adult now. Even Ida has seen my canopy. Oh my lord. <laughs> this nigga, bro. Huh? It's not like I wanted to. The thing is, I didn't grow enough. You know what I mean? He won't believe that, Rodolfo. Oh, I see. I think I understand the situation. I have a friend who went through the same thing. Never hit the growth spurt. <laughs> Sorry for doubting you, kid. Go, man. What the hell? You lack faith, adults. <laughs> Wake up. This kid has no name. And no shame to his game, nigga. <laughs> because of you, the, su the security guard misunderstood the situation. You're gonna pay for that. Oh, shit. What did he call me? Jungle Gorilla. Oh, my goodness, bro. I don't know who's more childish between the two. <laughs> I think I remember the place we need to go to. It's the second floor. Even so, you should look for your friends. I'll wait for you here. And don't start playing the gotchas. Although you'll need a wallet to use them. Oh shit. That one nigga. I forgot. The rich nigga. I'm supposed to be looking for his wallet somewhere inside the casino. Uh, yo, it's good. Oh, can't find that little nigga's wallet anywhere, so he's cooked, my nigga. It's probably somewhere over here, if anything. Yo, you seen a wallet anywhere here? Oh damn, he's ashamed that he spent all his money on gotchas. Unlucky, bro. What's good? So you're on the second floor. Jiraiya told us you'd be waiting here. Who's that? Is that um Xiao Lin? That's right. Oh damn, she whooped that nigga. It's just Yang Xiao and Lilivia and me. That's right. We don't know where Silvano could be. He recovered from the present. <clears throat> he recovered from the poison in a few hours and jumped out of the um hospital window. The savage. What the fuck? I tried to stop him, but he seemed very angry, and it was impossible to stop him. He must have been affected by what happened with Aldrich. His pride was shattered. Don't worry about that, Silvano's just fine. I found him on the way to Lugano City. He's training fiercely in the jungle, and he'll definitely help us when the time comes. Damn, got your ass. By the way, why did we have to meet in such a noisy place? We'll be safe here. Oh shit, Edward. Jiraiya, you're here. What's good, what's good, what's up? Y'all miss me? Haha. <laughs> Seeing that no time to talk and juice ourselves, especially with the fact that this nigga, he always be going through like when the motherfucking like, Life story and shit? What's the password? The password is... Password. That's right, spectacular. Our lady is waiting for you in the meeting room. Great. Come on, guys, follow me. Nigga, he knew the password, bro. You really gonna say that, dickhead? Come on, bro. Rodolfo, you alright? Oh, shit. Where are we heading? Right now, we're in a secret hideout. Probably the only place the royal family doesn't know about. This place was built precisely to take down the royal family. Who built it? Who else is on our side that we don't know about? Does the Forbes City Gym ring a bell? This hideout was built in the name of the same person at the same time. I, of course, invested a large amount of money in this place, just when the royal family seemed unstoppable. As you know, the royal family managed to dominate all of Akebia, so there was no safe place to hide. The only place was the sewers of Lugano City. Not exactly. 
The thing is, after what happened to me, uh, we decided to create this place. A place to train hard with our Pokemon. Where we can plan a strategy, blah, 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 and get revenge, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so we're about to go through a tra training phase. You'll meet her soon. Follow me. Who's this she that we're on about to meet? <coughs> Man, it's a clean-ass spot. Clean-ass little bunker. God damn, bro. What's going on in here, bro? Who are we meeting? There doesn't seem to be anyone in here. How strange. Hasn't she arrived yet? She said she'd be here waiting for me. You've fallen into my trap, fools. Oh, shit. Everyone, everything's gone black. I told you it was a trap. I knew we couldn't trust them. You just don't get it, kid. That voice. You'll have to listen to my will through the music. Okay. <laughs> Come on, bro. Is this you? It was you? Angie Stones? Couldn't introduce yourself like a normal person, huh? Still, I'm very glad that you have so much energy, Angie. By the way, what's with all these people? Jiraiya, I'm excited to see you here. Do you think I can have a battle with you later? Wow, this girl has a lot of spark. I like you. Of course. And we can relax afterward with some beer. How about that? This girl has to join the group. She's in. <laughs> Don't be fooled by appearances. If you're part of the Elite Four, it means... Shut up, nigga. Come on, bro. Calm down, Dawn Farmer. Facts. Soul Cultivator, you mean? Whatever. Your grandpa Yang Lao has the same rank as me. How do you not know me? You spend too much time training and not enough time thinking. Wake up, kid. Crap yourself, right, Shin Pao? <laughs> I don't find this funny. All right, anyways, yeah, let's get through this fucking meeting. Ah, oh, man, look, it's some shit going on inside the royal palace. What the hell? How many more hours are you sleeping? Are you planning on sleeping? Wake up already. She seems to be in a deep sleep. She must be dreaming of something nice. It's a shame that as soon as she wakes up, she'll enter a nightmare. Lilith, your sister wants to talk to you. Wake up. Hmm? Oh, shit. Damn, it's been a minute since I've seen Pris uh, Miss Alama. Big sister? Estella, where have you taken me? Oh, shit. P Professor. I'm glad that you're okay. Professor Alama, is that who you made your half-brother believe you are? What the hell are you talking about? I'm not related to a llama. Derek. W what do you mean, Derek? What's with that face, a llama? Even if you don't believe it, the blood of the Armstrongs run through your veins, little nigga. You really belong to the royal family. <clears throat> it's all your fault, and especially your stupid fathers. If it hadn't been for him, everything would have turned out very differently. The bastard did something unforgivable. As soon as I get the chance, I'll kill him with my own hands. What the hell are you talking about? M my father? But well, he's just a simple office worker. It seems you haven't finished connecting the dots yet. I have to explain where you came from and why you shouldn't even be alive. The fuck? Okay. So I guess they're going to do that in a different thing. Or he's going to tell us. Edward Wright. Mr. Edward Wright. He was the former champion of Akebia in his younger days and worked as a detective for the royal family. Oh, well, I mean, until the royal family arrived, and look at goddamn Lucario and Blaziken just chomping away. Champion of Akebia? I didn't expect this man to be so strong. <laughs> he doesn't look much, but he's he was a champion. What's your relationship with the royal family? How did you become so wanted and have a close relationship with the Elite Four member? For that, we have to go back more than 15 years ago. When Akebia had recently been con um, conquered. Man, we're going way back. Back then, I was just a little girl who still played the bass. It's time for you to know my story. 